Starting. I want my drink. Not starting. I want my drink. This drink's almost empty. We need my other drink too. Okay. I got a monster. Okay. I don't drink them that much, but I have one today. Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm. Eh, oh man. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, I think we wait. Wait. Uh, Aaron, what are we watching? Aaron. No, we're watching Arrow. What episode of Arrow uh, are we watching? Mine really crack. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, cunk, cunk. <laughs> like Law and Order. Dun, 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 dun. Arrow season finale of season five. The five year journey that we started five years ago. Which will end on the island. Ooh. Or not. We don't know. When we start on the island, we end on the island. They could just leave the island at the end of this and be like... Bye! Last time on, Aaron! I guess some cool stuff happened. What happened? Was it death? Stroke! <laughs> uh, there was death stroke. Uh, he was in the Argus facility on Lee and you. And Captain Boomerang's down there too. We didn't see him. But we had we had like like real death stroke. Yeah. Not like flashback 100 episodes, like, oh I'm death stroke, look at me. You know that guy? Yeah, I remember him saying that. Fuck that. Yeah. We have we have Slade hey, Slade. That was that was still really fucking cool. Like so like that I was actually on a Burnett. Yeah. He's like so fucking saying, assholes. I'm just saying that was cool. <laughs> yeah. And they had like the main character. This is cool. It would would it not have been cooler for him to just be into this, mask off, eye patch on, yeah. fighting. That'd have been cool. Yeah. Now we got we can get that now. That's what we're gonna have. Now. We're getting that now. Now Aaron, we have in fact there was a poll. About there was a poll now. last time about now. Do we, need, do we need to turn the air off? I'll do it while you look at the okay. poll. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. Who has the best team? <gasps> team Arrow. Green Arrow, Deathstroke, Nisa Al Ghul, Dark Archer. I bet they win. Or Team Prometheus. Prometheus, Talia Al Ghul, Black Siren, Artemis. What do you think people chose? Probably Team Arrow. Guess the percentage. 75 25? Higher. 90 10? Higher. 95 5? Lower. 90. You better get it. Yes! 93% said Team Arrow. 6% said Prometheus. That 1% didn't even like this is so bad. <laughs> there are 40 comments. We're going to go over a couple of them right now. Five! Uh, that guy, uh, KG, said, I voted for Team Prometheus because I feel bad for them due to the fact <laughs> that they're about to get their asses kicked by the all-star Arrow team. All-stars. Four! Arvik said, Team Arrow, of course, but I'm obviously expecting Prometheus to play dirty and have lots of tricks in store for Oliver. Probably. He's dirty. Three. Long way. Nisa Al Ghul is on Team Arrow. That's all the arguments you need. <laughs> Dose. Gary B. Depends on what side Vigilante takes. What in the hell happened to him? And number one. Not in early in order, but this is the last one we're going to read. We'll end with Dennis Hoffman, Team Arrow. What's that? Team Slade. Hey, kid. I'm glad you came. Hit the button. Wow. Dead. Oh my gosh. If. Thea, Oliver, Laurel, and Deathstroke die this episode. Predictions via the pops. Omens. For purgatory. We're gonna go right into it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm taking Digger Harkness. There's an Argus supply boat that is docked on the eastern shore. Harkness, it's boomerang. You go. Oh! Oh my gosh, you're getting boomerang. One guard. He is literally coming back. They will together. On your son. Including his present whereabouts. Oh shit. Are you offering to help me find my son? I want us to find both of our sons. Oh shit, man. I'm getting man fatherhood chills. Here is uh, your shit. Oh uh, your shit. Like uh, old times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, put, put, is it the old arrow? Old arrow! Look! Folks, guns and ammo are still on the plate. By the way, what do you need an RPG for? That is no way to start a new friendship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got out. Beer guy. It's old Calvin. <laughs> this is Remember old Calvin. Remember old Calvin? Yeah. 
find him. Where he go? He's so old, Calvin. The way he walks. Look at the way he walks. Look at the way he walks. <laughs> Oh, they got him in cages. Where's William? I don't know. We were separated. Oh, I don't know if she was here too. Why are they It doesn't matter. Trap! Oh, come on, you die. You Looking bitches. I knew it. You want? <laughs> Damn it! What did you do? There's no giving up to these guys. No, he's tricking them. I don't buy it. Slade is back, baby. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, he threw her down like Joke. nothing. Watch out! Oh, Ooh. shit! Good job! Yeah! I Kick, love it. Kick love his it. ass again! <laughs> See, we're busy here, okay? Shit Bitch! Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? I need mean Slade Wilson and Mel. Oh, I should change my shirt. Everyone look away for five minutes. No, that you that's that's something you say when someone dies before they get off the island. Safe. Green Arrow won't die in his own show. Shut up. Uh, what's that? The monster. Remember this? Oh, okay. Oh. There they are. Okay, they were here. I picked up the trail. Good. They picked up a trail! I'm glad Slade's having some talking time and I'm stuff. I'm loving every scene so far. Shit. Poop. Dear? Booby trap? Yeah. Okay. Landmine? She just activated a landmine. They had these before, remember? Yeah. How come no one else stepped on it? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. It's all right. He's gonna push her. <laughs> I forgot how stubborn you could be. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> Shit! Mm. Hardness. Check the boomerang. Look at them all. He's just like holding like four of them. Shit. I don't want to lose Malcolm. Right? Mm. That's a big boom. But we didn't see anything. I know. Maybe he threw Captain Boomerang's body on it. The trail continues this way. All oh, the plane. Boomerang will come back at least. Feels like a lifetime ago. Oh, Ewoks! <laughs> Ewoks. They're not Ewoks. <laughs> Damn. I, uh... He made that. Yeah. Well, a while ago, right? Can you blame her? No. Maybe he's creating his own plan. He, he, he heard him coming, maybe? Like, they came immediately, and she didn't act like she knew who he was. I never should have trusted you. I don't believe it. This is part of a, this is part of a slate trap. You're right. He'll never get to be. We didn't see it, though. It's gone. Yeah. Are you still crying about me? Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> I told you, Thea. Damn it, Malcolm! <laughs> The plane. The, the plane, plane, the plane. You could say that. He's gonna okay, blow up the island? Way too many defuse. Call Barry. He could do it. Actually, just saying canary. Just black canary. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I like that. I like oh, that. black hair. canary! <laughs> Are we gonna get her versus Black Siren? I have to. Oh shit. Yeah. This is like a Nebula Gamora kind of thing going on, isn't this it? This is hot. What? My friends. Oh! Do not interfere! Oh. Shout! Oh. Shout! One, two, three, four! Ninjas. What ninjas? <laughs> I love them working together. I'm getting like chills. You're like, late. Like legitimate chills. Damn it. There it is. This is a good theme, isn't it? Yeah. How much he had his outfit? Love that is never going to happen. That's intense. Never say never. Oh my god! Oh. Death stroke, the ninjas, bunch of ninjas. Take them ninjas. Dang, I'm mean, using a sword. He's <laughs> using a sword. Punching shit. Go diggle. Diggle, diggle. 
He usually shoots ninjas. <laughs> yeah, right? This is all one shot, Aaron! Can Lance handle this stuff? Wow, Doug! I love it, I love it. Where's One oh. shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Oh, I went pan. Oh, that's so good. I love that. I love that. I My nipples can only get so erect. Only so awesome. erect. Touch them. <laughs> oh. oh, transition! One shot. Oh no, what's Lance? <laughs> what's Lance doing? Damn, damn, Slade. <laughs> and he's been sitting in prison for a couple years. Oh, 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 oh. shit! Dude, their hair's a lot more similar than I thought it was. Screaming at each other. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn, man, the two canaries. I wonder if Lance is coming to here. Meta. Yeah! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. Man, he needed that. Damn, man, he was crying. Be careful! Dude, oh. what a fantastic performance. Oh, That choreography was amazing. Yeah. Quit burning me! Ooh, damn. The tramp stamp. Dude, James Bamford, man. Bam Bam. Oh. Her karate! Uh. It's a Black Widow move. <laughs> That's who I was before. That's not who I am now. You're the Green Arrow. If you can blame me, your son is dead. No. The remotely linked to some sort of dead man switch. If he dies, it detonates all the devices. Of course. Slade's gonna go with him. Slade will go with him. Everyone else might leave, but Slade's gonna stay. Just like old times, man. They start on this island, you know? Yeah. <laughs> really quick, really quick now. A little dirty. See you on the boat. Right? You said that, yeah. Oh, uh, this is like Fast and Furious 2. Back in. Took no car. They're gonna fight on a boat? I'm on a boat! Oh! Never thought I'd be on a boat. He's gotta get to the, the boat there too. And he's gotta fire that, that arrow, right? Damn! Oh, 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 oh. Is this what we started? We started with this, didn't we? Yeah. This is season one, the pilot. <laughs> Jeesh. There's the island. That's that's five we're, years, we're man. Full circle, man. The circle's complete. <laughs> Knew it. No, don't kill him, don't kill him. You have to. Oh, good. Think about that. Now you're one step behind. I got her back. Is that you? Hang up on me. Please don't hang up, okay? No, 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 I won't. Is your father Uh, he's gonna kill himself. Without mom. Oh shit. Oh shit. We are literally done with the island. Jesus! <laughs> no! Come on, show! What? <laughs> what? Uh, it's a good, it's good. They can literally have everybody's fate up in the air. And if anybody goes missing, it's perfect cover, right? Fuck. Felicity's dead. Fuck. I told you. Fuck, that fuck, shut, conversation. shut, shut, shut. What we say? If if this one dies, and well, she didn't fall, and that one fell, and that one fell. Fuck everybody. Everybody. Well, other than Oliver, everybody is potentially. Uh, Malcolm's uh, double dead. This Malcolm. I don't know. I feel like that would have been a good way for him to end, but I also feel like it's possible. That he could be alive. He's he wasn't isn't he called the magician? 
in the league? Isn't, I, isn't that what his name is called? Yeah. Well, in, yeah, in the league it was. I can't imagine Captain Boomerang being okay with that. You know what I mean? He's very, he's very about himself. Yeah. I can't imagine being like, well, I'll just stay on this island, blow up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking Artemis was in a cage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Artemis was in a cage. She's like, maybe this is all part of the plan. The plan is literally blow the planet, the planet, the, the island. And she's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, are all of his allies, all the other villains, Ninjas? okay with that idea? You know? Like, does, does, is uh, Talia okay with blowing up? They probably didn't know that... Black Siren? <laughs> what his real agenda was, maybe. This was a jam-packed episode from start to finish. Even the flashbacks, which I was like, no! And then I was watching them like, yes! Yes, I know. I just... It to end right there? I mean... Would I, mean, I rather... Our villain's gone. It took care of our villain. Yeah, Prometheus. I like the, the gun flare in the eye. That was cool. What? You can see whenever he put the gun up to his head and then it goes oh. all over, you can see the flare in his eyeball. Okay. Reflection. Are oh, you saying he shot like a flare gun into his eyeball? I'm like, that's a real gun, Eric. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. The episode was so good. Yeah. I love seeing Slade back. They Not kept, just back. They kept fucking with us, being like, oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah, but he did, like. He did twice. <laughs> Which I, I guess that we could have seen coming because he's like, hey, kid, I'm glad you came back. I mean, I guess an evil Slade would be like, I'm glad something shit's happened. <laughs> yeah, I've just been sitting here. Well, he just left him there and blew up the island. Yeah. Dude, wouldn't that have been some shit? They just didn't get him out. What if they got in the Argus prison? That seems like it is more of like a bunker kind of thing. They could probably survive in there. Maybe. Oh, Slade maybe. would know that. I mean, he said about getting into the boat on the other side of the island. Yeah. Um... Could could Malcolm have not died? And maybe he did some. Yeah. Then. Yeah. I don't know. There's so many people. Like, is Black Siren dead? I mean, it's the it's like the entire cast. The everybody is now up for deletion. <laughs> they can't kill the entire cast. No, right? there's no way. This would yeah, but I feel like. I mean, hell, this could be five years in hell for someone else. <laughs> you know, I don't know. William knows that the Green Arrow is his father now. Yeah. I mean, Prometheus ha is the best. He might be the best villain of all of Arrow, of all of this DC uh, TV stuff. Like, his plan makes sense. There is no, like, the way he does everything, like, he is always ready for every situation. Even to the point where he where he kills himself, he still wins. And he's just wins. so fucking crazy. He's so crazy. I wish that he would have had his Prometheus outfit on. Right, rather line. than his, like, you know, mercenary that shops at the Gap. But still. You love cool. that Gap. Eric <laughs> loves the Gap. Uh, but, I mean, we had Slade Wilson, man. Not just Mirakuru crazy Deathstroke villain. But, like, you know, season one and, and two... And just the classic Deathstroke mercenary, you know? Yeah. The, um, the fights in this episode I thought were great. James Bamford, uh, you can find him on Twitter. He rocks. He's the stunt, uh, master and the choreographer for, for a lot of these shows, but Arrow specifically. Mm -hmm. Man. And a lot of them were one-shots. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Like the Nisa and Talia fight, I thought that was done. Like the, the choreography looked really great, but it was shot really far back and like... Maybe one, maybe two hits per cut, you know? Yeah. So you can tell they're cutting around, having actors in the shot, having stunt people, and then just being able to pace the fight, not in the performance, but in the edit, you know? Whereas the the fight was paced in the uh, performance of the one shot, the one shot, but whoever they have doing Slade's sword work against the ninjas was perfect. Perfect. Dude, I love just when he was just he was punching ninjas. Yeah, like they all swing the swords, he's ducking yeah. them, punching. I know. Faces. I'm like, yes. I just love how big and burly he looks yeah. and stuff. But I, mean, uh, I feel like that could easily be Manu because he did a lot of his stuff in Spartacus. His stuff in Spartacus is perfection too. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, he most does of it, like naked. I think most of that was him. I don't think there was a lot. I think I'm sure there were some stunt yeah. devil stuff, but I think a lot of that was him. I, I only said that. I mean, it could not be him for the sheer sake of well, you can train somebody else with much more time. And yeah. he's wearing a mask. True. You know, usually when you're wearing a mask, it's, it's not very different. It's, yeah. it's very. It's almost never the uh, that person. So, okay. Um, Especially but, if they only have one eye. I gotta say, the fight choreography of Oliver versus Prometheus on that balcony. Mm-hmm. The choreography took a back seat to the performance of those punches. Like the that was that had. was aggression. That was ferocity. That was acting your fight and telling your story in a fight, and me just being overwhelmed by it. It mm-hmm. was so good, man. Shit, we're fight nerds, but there's there were so many in this. Yes, I love that Captain Boomerang came back. Was on their team for like five seconds and then just turned on him. That's so fucking Asher, man. It is. It is. That's why I said I hate that guy. I know. But I hated Asher, but I love to I hate, hate him. I hate him, too. I love yeah. to hate him. But I, I, it, it was so glaringly Asher that I wonder, you know, with the fact that, that Nisa and Deathstroke and, and Captain Boomerang are from Spartacus and they you know he had a you know he's all he, he did that in Spartacus too he looked at that girl mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. you know I have to imagine that there's a little influence of Asher and Captain Boomerang right there you know I liked him more than the Suicide Squad version yeah <laughs> you know because yeah. he was fucking threatening too he fought the Flash he, he fought Arrow and, and Red Arrow you know yeah and Oliver made the right call. I didn't give him a weapon. I don't know where the other guys got their weapon. I guess they just... Is it so... I'm sorry. I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. So there is a, like, staff of Argus on the island at all times? There's one guy. There's at least one guy. Maybe they take, like... It's probably just one guy shifts. there that gives them food. And they rotate out. They're there every month. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like the space station. Russian space station. <laughs> you said they sell a toilet? Yeah, did you see the toilet? And no, it, there was that's a, how they poop. When it panned, there was a toilet in the in the cage. Okay. And I didn't see no Captain Boomerang or nothing there. He maybe that's in a different room. Maybe he's. I thought they were. I thought they were all like right there. You remember? Yeah. But I didn't see him. Hmm. I don't know, but it was it was good. I love that they like. I love that they brought them because if, if they just went to the island and this is the story they had and there wasn't, they didn't get a slave, they didn't get Captain Boomerang. Yeah. He was like, you just fucking left him there, and now they're just dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe the bunker can survive. It's an Argus mm. insulation building, right? Maybe. I don't know. It's a black what if it? What if it blows it up and then just sinks to the ocean? Like, does, like doesn't it, like, you have to go down, like, a ladder to get to it? I thought so. Dude, the the one shot after uh, after Oliver beat Prometheus there at that little balcony thing. Yeah. And then it looked back after they had beaten everybody, and you just had... All these heroes, they just diggle, wild dog, like breathing Slade, heavy. Uh, Black Canary. Black Canary. Black Canary. Dude, when Lance said Black Canary, that was so crazy. It was the best part of the episode. I love that. I love that Lance, because like not not only did he give her, he's like, she's Black Canary. Yeah. You know, because he had a little bit of experience like, with talking to her and everything, what she's done. But then also, like, he hit his daughter yeah. in the head to save the other one, you know? I mean, like, remember, no, she deserved that. Remember back whenever... They were talking about like she was she didn't know she was wanting to use the name Black Canary, mm-hmm. and like Lance is the one that gives you permission to do it. I love it, but yeah, you're right. Like, well, we, they also used him to help us. Like he accepted her as yeah. being being that, you know, mm-hmm. and now he accepts her as being the name too. Yeah, dude, the right. Canary fight, a Al Ghul fight. I mean, my only regret was we didn't get Slade versus Prometheus for a that little. That could have been pretty cool. But that would have just been fun just for, like, the two best See, villains. They never made him fight, like, Nisa yeah. or, uh, or uh, Artemis. Artemis. You know? Yeah. They, they made him fight. He fought Captain Boomerang for a second. Yeah. And then he fought a bunch of ninjas and just kicked ass Artemis all the time. Artemis was utterly worthless in this episode. And kind of this season in general. Yeah. Like, I just... When I, when I think about her, her story this season, I mean... We don't know when she was turned, you know? I mean, was she always this way? And her whole uh, her whole bullshit about, you know, finding out that Oliver was a killer was just part of the plan? Yeah. Or, I mean, the, or was the other thing that? I think could have been, like, on that train. Yeah. That she got turned on that train. Yeah. You know? But, I mean, if, if, she, if her motivation then was she's mad at Oliver because he kills and then Prometheus turns her, 
all they've done is kill and torment the entire season, yeah. you know? And if this was, if she knew the part of the plan, that she just had to sit in this fucking wooden cage and <clears throat> die, like, what is she getting out of the deal? Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of it, too, is that she blamed Oliver for her parents' death. Yeah. But I don't know why, like, if she's like, well, you're, you killed people? Yeah. I don't know why that was like, well, I'll join this guy who kills people, but yeah. he's against you. I mean, no, I'm wrong. I like the actress, and I, I like the way that she performs it. I just don't get it, you know? So, if I had to, like, what do you not like about this season? I'm like, well, Artem's the story, probably. Yeah. You Evelyn know? Sharp really didn't But everything else was so anywhere. great. But, yeah. The Mirakur wore off. Did you write the thing down? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you got? The the hero shot was one of my favorite things. Yeah. I enjoyed that. The, the choice at the end, I'm like, fuck, what would I do? Like, that's like a terrible choice. It's the Sophie's choice. It's yeah. an impossible choice. I hated it. I, I like that he was like, like he gave up and then shot him in the leg. Yeah. Because there's always like, there's always movies and stuff. You're like, well, why, why, they, why don't they just shoot him in the leg or something? Yeah. Or do something to, to do something. Yeah. But usually they never, they, they never do that. They either just drop their weapons and give up or they shoot him and kill him. There's never like that middle ground. I remember what was there's a movie with uh, Tommy Lee Jones and cheerleaders. Have you ever seen it? I can't think of what it's called. But the cheerleaders are like, because he's like a U.S. Marshal or something. Sure. And he's protecting them because they're in witness protection. And uh, all of them. Yeah, they saw a, a murderer, and they're all in witness. So he's like their their coach in like a sorority house, <laughs> like keeping eyes on them. And he has a, a couple guys helping with that and stuff. But anyway, they're like in Texas. Okay. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, like one of the things they ask because they're talking about you just shot a guy, yeah. You ever killed a guy? He's like, yeah. Well, why? Why don't you just like disarm him? Why don't you just shoot the gun out of his hand? Like, he's like you be quiet. I'll take care of the law enforcement. Well, at the end of it, like he shoots this guy, mm-hmm. but instead of shooting him, he shoots his hand and knocks the gun out of his hand. He's like, huh? It worked. <laughs> <laughs> and then they arrest the guy. Okay. But like stuff like that, like I always feel like that. There's yeah. never like that kind of like, well, arrest him. It's always just shoot him and kill him. Yeah. Not like, well, shoot his leg. <laughs> He can't run very far. You shoot well, his I, leg. I just like the vernacular of like I'm always, you know, one or ten or a hundred steps ahead of you, and it's like, well, shoot him in the foot, and you can't take steps. Now you now you know steps. You know, I'm uh, passing you. Um, there, there was some really good comparisons too with the, uh, the, flashbacks in this, like with the boat, mm-hmm. like him calling his mom, like oh, the man. mom finding the, her son. They were he's on a boat there. There were so many. Separate single performances that blew me away. They brought and, back so many and people. Moria was definitely one of them. <sighs> but that, and then God, him getting back beard. with his his son, yeah, on a boat. So he knew it was gonna go to a boat. You know, I was wondering why because like I'll see you on the boat. See last, you on the boat. But then he, like he went to an island. Yeah. And then they flew on planes, and yeah. I'm like, what boat? And then he had a boat. Yeah. This was always his plan. Mm-hmm. I don't think he shared it with everybody else. I don't think they'd be on board. Like, wait, what? What are we doing? Yeah, I'm gonna be on a boat. I'm gonna die. Yeah, and then you're gonna die. <laughs> and I wonder, if, like, like could like Black Siren all of them like run over the plane? Like, we have tools here. Like, fix this shit. Go, go, go. Yeah. I mean, like, what are they gonna show? It felt like a lot of people died this episode, but we didn't see it. What happened with? I mean, everybody got knocked out. We, we saw nobody die. We saw no bodies. Like even Malcolm, which felt like the end. It looked away. Good. It was like it wasn't just like an immediate bang. It was like bang. You know, it's like wait, why the pause and the shot and seeing them, seeing them walk in the woods? Does that mean like we're supposed to just assume that that's how it went, or there's time in case we want? You know, as I said, like with him, he died twice. Yeah, you know, like wait, is he dead there? Oh, maybe he lived. Boom, the island exploded. But wait, like, did he die there? But, like, the decision not to kill Talia. Is that wasted? Yeah. Lance hitting Siren with a pipe. Yeah. Is that... Like, is, is she, she dead, dead? Now? Did they Did they spare all these people Oliver's just saying, to leave them to burn? Oliver's saying he's going to come in back... In hell? He's going to come back for Evelyn Sharp. Yeah. And locked in a cage. Like, what now? I like that, you know, Oliver's always said five years in hell referring to the island, and now it's a literal burning wasteland. <laughs> okay, um... Do that one scene where Adrian, uh, you know, he has he's in the headlock, and he's the spit is just flying. You know, mm-hmm. I love that shit with acting, man. Like they just do not care; they have no ego in terms of performance. I love it so much. The other thing I hate, yeah, is uh, Talia Al Ghul 
upset at Oliver because he's her father's murderer. Yeah. I'm like, I thought the whole season three premise was that Roz wanted him to fight him, kill him, and take the mantle of Roz al Ghul. Well. Right? Maybe she saw her father as a victim of tradition of Roz al Ghul. And that he needs to choose a man, and this is what happens. And she left, and she's like, you don't have to do this kind of stuff. And maybe I can prove to my father that I can do this stuff, and I don't have to kill him. And then Oliver took that away. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, she had said that... uh, But I get you. Yeah, well, just the whole idea, that's like the tradition of it. But she had said that father would never let us be whatever. Yeah, women couldn't be Ross al So maybe it's related to something like that. But I was just like, that's what your dad wanted. Yeah. That was his whole plan all season three. Yeah. Was he wanted him to kill him. Like, he... Your... Ras al Ghul does not need to be avenged. Yeah. He wasn't... There was nothing there worthy of, of, of vengeance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know what? I think it's the weapons or fight nerd in me, but the scene when Oliver has the bow notched up and he's deciding if he needs to kill him or you know, save his friends, save William, the... The green bowstring was very, very loose, you know, because he, if he has that bow, and let's say it's a 70-pound bow, you know, and it's still a compound bow, but it's going to be taut, you know what I'm saying? But if, it looked like a shoestring. It bothered me. Oh, really? Like, I was legitimately getting, like, don't focus on that. It's too good. It's too good to focus on that. But, like, because it was, like, right in frame, it was right here, and it was, like, so the string was loose while, string it, was, while was it was pulled? Yeah, like... I didn't notice it. I, I just real quick show it. Not really in that shot. It's where, when it's close up on his face. Like right there. Like he's holding it, you know, it's a 70 pound bow, right? Yeah. And this might be the, the exact shot, but there was one shot on the bottom. You can't really see it in this shot, but on the bottom it was like really slack. Mm. It's bothering me. But... You don't want your actor who has to give that performance holding a 70-pound bow yeah, to make exactly. it look realistic. You just set it up and rig it, you know, which yeah. they did. But whenever you have a rig like that, that close in camera, it's it's it was hard for me not to see that flaw. But I, I got to say something bad about this episode because it's so good, right? <laughs> this is silly. It's a little it's, silly. It's a silly one. I just wrote it down. He's like, this bow, he's tight here. It needs to be taught. You got anything else? Just Malcolm. Yeah. I like Malcolm this. I don't know. Like, I was worried. I wrote him down because I was like, okay. He, he's trying to get with you know back, back with Thea. Yeah. And he sacrificed himself for Thea. And I, I like that. Is at the end of Malcolm. But then with the ending, I feel like it doesn't matter to be talked about really. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Like, I love his performance. And I was like, oh, John Barrowman, is this going to be the last one we see? If it were going to be, it would be a satisfying ending for the yeah. character. But now with the island hole all blowing up, I'm like, I don't know. Now everybody is a Schroeder's cat, right? Everyone. Except Oliver and William, because they were off the island. Was was Chase pleased with himself at the end? I mean, he had that weird conversation about, like, now your your son knows who his father is. Just like you knew who your father was. You know, because like, there were people that would talk about Oliver's father and how, like, he was yeah. this or this. You know, like, when he was yeah. a murderer. He's like, no, he wasn't. Yeah, I know what kind of man he was. And it was like, a, the whole episode was all about that. Yeah. And he's like, now his son knows what his father is. I mean, we're just, or I should say, I'm just assuming that everything's going to be okay. Because, you know, usually in, with these kind of seasons, the status quo returns, you know. But is Chase pleased with himself? I think he is because he was going to prove himself right. Either way, except thinking about getting shot in the foot. And then at that point, he has failed to prove to Oliver, but he's still going to take it away. You know? Yeah. So is he pleased? He's probably not as pleased as it would have been. You know? I don't think he was... I don't think he's upset to die, obviously. I mean, he he failed to do what he wanted to do, which was to prove that Oliver was a killer. Yeah. And I just wonder, like, like, him killing himself, he's just like, well, obviously you're not... I'm gonna take away everything you have. I mean, let's let's be real though. Anybody willing to go to the the, the lengths and depths of insanity that he did, the, you can't rationalize their judgments. The thing I love about him is like the music they put with him. Besides the Dun. which is very kind of crazy sounding Dun. stuff. Yeah. The other thing they really had with it was that TikTok yeah. kind of sound. 
which is Patterns very just kind of like out. It, yeah. it can be like that it can be like 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 the sounds in your head and stuff like that just mm -hmm. ticking away and he, yeah like, like clockwork orange you yeah. know like that was a very like ah went down yeah i mean it could also be the 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 timing of everything it can be how his, his brain works like clockwork his plans work like cl clockwork and you are a slave to each tick each in the plan you know each bullet point it could be a lot of different things I want to hope I want to hope that Slade saved everyone I think that's what they were pointing to right because there's like you know, Slade knows the island follow him well yeah Slade knows the island also like he said about the boat on the other side of the, the island and there's the Argus base that you said maybe that could work. Mm -hmm. All of which Slade knows. So could Slade save all of Oliver's friends? And that's like his his penance for killing his family and putting him through what he did. He saved yeah. everyone else he cares about now. I mean, I don't think he'll ever really earn absolute forgiveness. I don't think Thea would ever, you know. Oliver, for helping find his son... And then giving information about Slade's son. I mean, Slade has two sons, doesn't he? I don't know. I think he had a son in, like, season one or two he talked about. And then I think I that know. the other... I, think, I can't remember his name, but I think the other Deathstroke in Legends was a different son. I mean, it may have been, but that one may not be real anymore. Yeah, true. Um, the thing with Slade and Oliver and forgiving them, like... Oliver took the blame of Shadow. Like that yeah. was on him. He felt that he was responsible for yeah. Shadow's death, and then Slade blamed him for that. And then you have Slade, who has the blame of killing his mother, and then Oliver blames him for that, yeah. which makes sense. But if they both had like, hey, these were yeah. loved ones, and we're both at fault, you know, it's a little bit yeah. easier for them to kind of like come to terms than Thea, who has no relationship with Slade except for that's the guy that killed yeah. my mom. And then, and then Shadow, it wasn't necessarily Oliver's fault. Even no, though he, takes responsibility. he just chose Sarah. But if you compare that to Slade hopped up on Mirakuru and him realizing, like, it drove me insane and I've been sitting in this cell for years trying to forgive myself, but I can't. I need you to do it, you know? Yeah. Th that puts him on an even <clears throat> playing ground. And it, it builds what I think in the future is going to be mutual respect with a little bit of still being distasteful of each a other. A little hostility. You know? But that just, I don't know. I just want to see them buddies sometimes, you know? I love when he's like, hey, kid. I love him just calling him kid. Kid. He's just kid. Like, he was Oliver's first mentor. Yeah. Well, was he the first mentor or was uh, Yao Fang? Yao Fang the first mentor. Um, I guess Yao Fang. But I, I guess, like, in terms of, like, like real connection... I think Slade is yeah. like... I mean, know. season one on the island, I loved the stories they yeah. had with him and Oliver doing stuff. Even season two. Yeah. Continuing, like... Like, when he, in season two, when he, like, shows up in the present day and he's wearing a fucking gray suit. The he's suit got silver the, in his hair. Yeah, yeah. And he's got the goatee. I love the beard in this. Um, oh, man, just so many cool opportunities with, with having him back. Mm -hmm. And have him go over to Flash and Legends and stuff like that now that he's back. Have him do a, you know... Uh, Captain Cold or Black Siren contract where he can appear in more things. That yeah. would be perfect for Deathstroke. Yeah, that'd be sweet. <sighs> All right, I don't have anything else. Yeah, we've, we're going to talk for a while still because we got some Q&As. Q&As. Speed King. Speed King is the Speed King because he almost is always the first person to, to do a Twitter. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was a great finale since Slade is getting his son. Does that mean one um Oliver timeline in Legends happens? Uh, no, because that, uh, timeline was the result of the Legends never returning. Yeah, so which, once at the end of season one, they did return. Yeah, so when they returned... they left again. Yeah. And the story's all kind of different now, so... Plus, now there's dinosaurs. Yeah, so... so I, I'm think, gonna, I also yeah. think that that son was a different son or yeah. something. I don't think it was the same one that no, he had No, I, I think he has two sons, and that was... The, and that death stroke is the younger of the sons. Um... Colt said, man, this Arrow episode is so up and down. My emotions can't, but we didn't see bodies. Yeah, I know. That's we a thing. We didn't see bodies. Like, what, what if all this stuff blew up and then on, on his boat just an arm landed or something? Fuck! His Malcolm's arm. His hand? Yeah. His... Well, I was going to say, too, like, what if Malcolm does survive and he has a, more robot parts that he can make puns for? Talking to clap nowadays. Well, Oliver... There are great things 
a foot. <laughs> he puts his foot on the table. Okay, Matt Ackerman said, Mark Guttenheim said this was better than the season two finale. Do you agree? I do. There were so many emotions. Dude, season See, two was damn good with the Mira Kuru soldiers and then the versus league. Versus the league. Coming yeah. in, that was, that was one of my Oliver favorite. And versus Destro. Yeah. And, and to set that up, we had him murdering, you know. Yeah. And that, that was one of my favorite That was also the beginning, the kind of the beginning of Elicity with that stuff, you know. Yeah, because that was the, uh, he, Slade took her Felic- and she had the shot. Yeah. And he said things, he's like, well, it wasn't real. Well, they were they were they were <laughs> faking that she was the most important person in yeah. his life, you know, and then she became it. But uh, I have I have a great memory of season two finale, but the culmination of all of these stories and characters in this one, other I mean I don't the ending here isn't my favorite, mm-hmm. like with with the whole up in the air we don't know. Yeah, I kind of wish for a more conclusion for the first five seasons. Versus the open air of what this is, the cliffhanger. Um, but I'd probably enjoy this one more. I'm just really thinking, because like we really, really we had everybody yeah. back here that we didn't have back before. Yeah, I mean, even Roy. Katie Cassidy. Yeah, yeah, we didn't yeah. have Roy and stuff. But even Katie Cassidy was yeah, here. Yeah, you know? I know. It's Black Canary. <laughs> I loved it. James DeMitt said, Whose cliffhanger was better, Flash, Arrows, or Legends of Tomorrow? And I guess Supergirl has a cliffhanger-ish. She just flies in the sky and no idea what the hell she's doing. Yeah, I'm gonna say Legends. Legends with dinosaurs and they're like, what the like, fuck did we do? I felt like there was an ending and then it put you into something else. She's like, what the fuck's going on now? Yeah. Whereas this one, I felt like, I felt like it didn't give me an ending. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's still in the yeah, storyline of any like, cl- well, what's going on with the island? How is this? Where is it? Yeah. The only way that I would like this episode more than I do right now is if I watch the next episode or season and see that, oh, now that we're done with the Oliver five-year story, we've gone to a new chapter of stories that required them to be on this island when it exploded. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, Oliver in the pilot with the Queen's Gambit defined the next five years. Maybe that will happen here. Maybe. So, I guess I could see that and that be more of like a... I was kind of hoping that this would also be like a chapter end for the island. Me too. And now that the island's blown up and all that, all that can happen, fine. But now we have to start with, like, all the islands. I agree. I kind of wish, like, this, in my perfect world, it concludes. They're all back there. And Oliver's like, you know, he's not the person. And I'm not ashamed of who I am. He gets up. He's the mayor. He's like, my name's Oliver Queen. When five, you know, I was on an island for five years. But here's what you don't know. Yeah. I am the Green Arrow. And then, bam, it does the arrow thing. And it's, it's this time it says Green Arrow and they change the name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Josh said, I wonder if the next season will pick up where this left off, or will it be several weeks and we'll see the fallout? I mean, it might be both. It might be, like, several it, weeks and then we do flashbacks. I feel like it has to pick up. Because, like, you can't, you can't flashback and have, like, the... I don't know. I'm, I can't picture a way of, like, okay, here's Oliver and his son, and they have nobody. And then what? They just find, like, Felicity, and then here's a flashback of what she did. <laughs> And then you go back. You know um, what I mean? like, I'm not saying I would want this. In fact, I probably wouldn't. But one way of doing it is have your, you know, you're getting the band back together as you find people. Maybe they all find their way off the island separately. Yeah. And then as you find them, we flash back to learn what happened. Yeah. But I don't really like that that much. Uh, Cordy Man said, do you think William will stay in Oliver's life in season six? And he has to now. Or will something happen and he's not a mainstay? I mean, Samantha... Samantha was on that on island. Her, yeah. Like, she could be dead, too. And which means slapped. that he... It's, what? <laughs> this slap bet was if she was in the grave. <laughs> Not that she would die. <laughs> Everyone dies. Uh, Just like they poop. They do. Except Captain Boomerang. Yeah. He does poop, but it always comes back. Seventh Hour Films, random question. Who wins in a fight between Slade with Mirakuru and Monel? Also... Could Slade's son be part of Helix? Um, Slade, because he probably has lead. Yeah, true. And I, he's just a... Monel's good, he, especially with that last fight. Yeah, that last fight in Supergirl great. was great. But, um, I mean, yeah, he's susceptible to lead. He's, he's strong and he can jump real far and shit, but I feel like Slade is just the smarter fighter, and that does count for something, you mm-hmm. know? 
Kevin Velasquez, is Slade better as an adversary or honorable anti-hero slash mercenary? Yeah. I personally enjoyed seeing him fight with Team Arrow. No, I would love to see him in a in a state where he can be good and bad. Yeah. Remember where, Deadshot? Yeah. Deadshot was a bad guy, but then he was kind of a good guy. It depends on who was, he was paying him. Yeah. I love that kind of dynamic yeah. where like we can have him come in and now Arrow and Slade are working together. Yeah. But then they come in and now they're on opposite sides and yeah. they have to fight. But they mean they don't kill each other. You and know? they have a mutual respect, but they still play the game. You yeah. Know? That's, that would be fun. Because Deathstroke and Deadpool both yeah. were on different sides back and forth. They weren't always just bad guys, you know? Yeah. We're always just good guys. I mean, you know what? Like, a dream for me would be like fucking Monel, uh, maybe Black Siren or something. Because we got a little bit of redemption kind of with her with Lance. Not redemption, but like, I think seeds are in there. Like, she could. Be swayed. You what if? What if? And I was gonna say, and Deathstroke, who like went to Legends. That'd be cool. I was gonna say, what if uh, Black Siren got hit in the head, has amnesia? <laughs> they just tell her she's Laurel. Yeah, they just go with it. <laughs> she so kind of has some slight memories, but not really. Yeah. And now she's good. Fernando said, "It feels like the Arrow and Shield writers were extra worried about being canceled and got everybody back for last hurrahs." I mean, they both had a lot of, you know. Things culminate, but good ends of series do, you know. So I don't know. Love of tra- love of tragedy said watching Oliver and Slade working together again brought tears to my eyes. So good, I loved it. Shire folk, Malcolm's death didn't really seem to carry a lot of weight, did it? Well, I was gonna say that I think it was a fitting end. I didn't felt like he died. I didn't feel like he didn't die. Yeah. And then I didn't. I feel the same way with everybody now. So yeah. It, that, I was gonna say I had a Malcolm thing written down because I felt like okay, this could be a good sign off for him, but he could still be alive too. Yeah. And then the whole island blew up, and I said, "Well, fuck it." Now I don't know. <laughs> yeah. James Dement, are you guys sad to see the flashbacks come to an end? Um, we don't know if they will. They could still do some kind of uh, flashback, flash sideways, flash forward. I don't see, know. I loved some of the episodes that didn't have flashbacks. Yeah. I hated some of the episodes that did have flashbacks. I love some of the episodes that mm-hmm. did have flashbacks. If it if it fits with the story, I don't I don't care, yeah. but I don't feel like they have to have like we got to have a flashback in every episode because yeah. that's what we did and that's just that's just our formula. Like don't make it happen. If anything, I feel like sometimes the flashbacks don't know where they need to be inserted in the edit. Like in that last scene with him putting the shit on and, like, finding the boat was just happening kind of in the middle of him running in the woods, you know? And I was thinking, like, I guess there's really no other place to put this, but it feels like it's it's not flowing super well right there. And then it flowed really well whenever he was on the boat talking to his mom. Him running through the woods and then running through the woods, you didn't think flowed together? The, no, I, the, I thought, like, the... Wait, wait, was yeah. another part? Was it not that part? Um, It was slightly after that part, like, when he's seeing the boat and stuff. And, like, that was, like, during a fight, wasn't it? Mm-mm. That was like when they were captured. No, he was, was he was he was running through the woods to get to the boat. Yeah, and then he was running through the woods to get to the boat. Yeah, there was no fight during then. Yeah, something about okay. That may, I guess that makes sense. Something yeah. about it though, it, it felt like they were just doing a lot all at once. I mean, it felt like well, I guess it's the only place you really can put it. The the, the flashbacks during the fight was him fighting um, Kovar. Yeah, Kovar. Yeah, and then like you know he had him in the headlock, and then he had him in the headlock, and yeah. like. It was during that that it was kind of back and forth that I would have I think I would have rather have seen like all that in one sure and then cut over and then watch the main fight all in one rather than the cut back and forth but the comparisons of him like running to catch a boat and running to catch a boat I didn't mind that part sure. of it and then um, also him like talking to his mom while he's on the boat and then him getting his son while he was on the boat yeah. I like that comparison too of like them both being found do you think that Kovar is the a character in a flashback as a main big bad villain that has the least to do with the present timeline. I mean, I guess there's Anatoly and the Broadfoot. Yeah, I mean, there was that. But, like, it, there's really, like, you know... In China, we had, like, you know, those characters come over, and we had Slade, it was a big one, and then I season keep, one was Malcolm. I did keep kind of waiting for Kovar to show up in present day or yeah. something. But I guess I can see what you mean with that. Yeah. I mean, it, it mixed... It was, like, the, the beginning half really mixed well because of what was going on, I think, because of... Uh, Anatoly and everything. Yeah. But then when it went more into, like, on the island, I think they just like, well, we have him on the island. They couldn't just not had that. He just was on the island, waited, shot an arrow. You yeah. Know? <laughs> then all that <laughs> happened. Like, no one go and search that island? Who's, who are these dead Russian guys? 
<laughs> like no one looked. This is funny. Reaper702. My dad was weirded out when I screamed, Damn it, Aaron! at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so he watched the end, and he watches enough blind wave to know that, like, Damn it, Aaron! Blame it on Aaron. Sorry. And Sorry. Slayton Oliver Aquino. Yes, I, would be I believe that they respect each other, or at least understand the other's plate. Chris Tofo said, Stephen Amell was always a great actor, but he stepped up his game this season. Best season so far, 10 out of 10 episode. I gotta say, yeah, he. I think he did a really a, good a job. A couple of those scenes, Just, yeah. The aggression, or the emotion, or the like, like everything, like you could really feel like like the the father in him, yeah. and like the feel for his friends, yeah. and the this like sometimes him being scared. There's a couple, there's a couple of scenes that stand out when I think about Stephen Mills acting, and it's definitely this episode. And then there was one scene in like Lance's apartment with him and Lance. I remember. Was particularly amazing. So, well, the actor for Lance, I love him too. Yeah, like, I feel like he does such a good job every time. Yeah, I I, I heard. A, the, did you ever hear the story? Of, like he was like a, I guess like that actor is like a method actor. Mm -hmm. and he likes to really get into it. So like yeah. before he goes on, like if, if there was a scene in like season one where uh, Lance is like upset at Oliver, he's coming in, he's gonna start yelling at him stuff. So like he said, he could hear him off, like offset, like ah, ah, like really? really try and get mad and angry and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, in the in the scene is Malcolm and Stephen and Mel. Like it's the first time them like meeting each other, and it's in a hallway. And uh, they come up, and uh, I think one of them knows the other one's secret, but the other one doesn't know the other one's secret quite yet. Okay. And they come up, and he's like, Oliver, Malcolm. He's like, Well, I'll see you soon. And he's like, Okay. And like he, they go they go to walk away, and then Oliver's walking towards the elevator, and Lance is gonna be coming out of the elevator, coming towards him. Well, when Malcolm walks away, John Barman. Like, walked away and did this. <laughs> <laughs> and Stephen Amell, I guess, started laughing about it. And then uh, the actor for Lance just started getting so mad because he was trying not to crack up and he kept cracking up and he was trying to yell at him and be serious. It was just funny. Like, John Barrowman. I can picture him doing it. Like, apparently. I, like, what you just did, I, you didn't do what John Barrowman would do exactly. But the way you did it, I know exactly how he would you do it. You know what I mean? He's yeah. Like, yeah, kind of, he did that kind of thing. But apparently it was in an angle that like Stephen Amell could see him around a corner, but Lance's actor couldn't see him, so he didn't know why Stephen Amell was laughing and why and he was getting mad at Stephen. It's just Barman is so good because he's so different from his character. You know, mm -hmm. it's funny. Ugh. Okay, you guys got a lot of questions. Alan Anthony, do you think Vigilante could be an Earth 2 Adrian Chase or an Earth 1 twin brother of Adrian? I want Josh back on the show. This guy. Adrian Chase, the yeah. actor? Hmm. He blew me away this, this back half. Yeah. Blew me what? away. So good. I mean, good we, we both thought he was going to be Vigilante. Yeah. You know? And he thought he was going to be Vigilante. Right? <laughs> Like, I don't know. He did a re really good job. Yeah. The acting, I think, in this season was some of the best that we've had. Like, just, like, like Lance and Steven and uh, Adrian Chase and, uh, heck, even Slade in this episode. Yeah. Like, I love the little speech he gave him about, like, his father and it all has to do with your father and you got to forgive and, all, you know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So good. I loved it. I would love to have him back as something. Me too. I... I would love him back as Vigilante if that was something. Because then he could be working with me. Yeah. But still be antagonistic. Who the fuck's Vigilante? <laughs> could Vigilante be Slade's son? No, the age thing I don't think works there. I don't think so. I mean, it was only five years ago. It wasn't... sounded like his son was like maybe nine or ten. Because if you're thinking about the... Yeah, his son was younger there. Yeah. And it hasn't been enough time passing for that to happen, I don't think. Yeah. And then if you're thinking about the other son, that was like 20 years in the future after mm -hmm. like... Diggle's kid grew up, yeah. you know? So, yeah. I agree. Um, and then we'll end with another one from Ali, Alan Anthony. Uh, I cried like a baby during the Moria scene. Uh, my beautiful boy, quote unquote. Uh, that's what she called him in the pilot ep hospital scene. In the pilot episode hospital scene. So, that's anyway. Nice. The, so that bookmarks. Uh, seasons one to five. It's been five seasons now. Yeah. Vera. I'm sure going back and watching season one, like especially the pilot... There's lots of similarities and things mm -hmm. that they allude to in this that maybe you didn't even catch. It might be interesting, maybe this summer, maybe I'll go back and just watch through Arrow again. Because now that I know everything Oliver did on that island that I didn't know when I first started watching the show, it might be interesting. Obviously, 
that shit wasn't written. Not yet. everything would have been thought of and stuff. Yeah. But maybe there are some. But will will the performances that are left with an empty void of him staring off in the distance, thinking about that shit, will that be filled now with the knowledge of what happened? You know, like when you watch episode four and Obi Wan's talking about Vader and Anakin and stuff like that, he does these looks that like I don't know if the actor knows what the story was, but he acts as if. There's a story there, and I'm thinking about it. And I, every time I see it now, I, I'm communicating into that performance what he feels. Yeah, you're thinking of what Oliver. But he might about. not be thinking of that, you know. So I wonder if maybe some stuff like that with with Oliver. Man, I had a sandwich earlier. Where'd it go? Yeah, <laughs> you know. And you're just like, yeah. you know, rewatching Slade stuff with season two of Miracuru and knowing that like he's insane here, like truly insane, you know. Anyway, okay. Um, I have one more thing that sure. I thought of when you were looking through Q and A's, the Felicity stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. The, we had the the little kiss, mm-hmm. which I th- I thought that was a nice little like, I mean, if she died, at least you have that like yeah that kind of closure there, you know. But also like, if she doesn't, she had that little conversation with Samantha too. True. Which I thought was interesting to True. be like, hey, you know, th- like back in season four, like that was a big part of like the breakup thing was like well, not having trust, and there was the, yeah. the son and all that kind of stuff. To have that kind of conversation, I thought kind of like, okay, I think if yeah. she does survive. I think all this stuff is going to be done. I agree. And things can move forward rather than... Yeah. Because, I mean, Felicity, this season, you know, she apologized for walking away during that, you know, but she still felt like she should have been trusted. But Samantha was the one who didn't trust Oliver and said, okay, if you want to be part of his life, this is what has to happen. And she probably would need to be able to trust Felicity if, if William would ever be part of Oliver's life more, you yeah. know? Exactly. I mean, I mean, if he right now, I I imagine Samantha would be like, once she gets William back, she's like, the only time we ever have a problem is our connection to you. I'm not gonna let you mourn in his life. Well, yeah, but they hid him away and stuff, and he's still fine. So I'd be better to have him near. Yeah, I agree. I don't don't know. know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that was Arrow. We got to have a poll for this season, Arrow. Okay, so poll for this week, this year, I should say, this season. Um. We're going to do a poll on who you think of everybody that blew up in this fucking island. Who is who survives and who's dead? Uh, so vote who you think is most likely dead. Not necessarily who you want to be dead or alive. Yeah. Who you think is dead. Like, you know, I think it's more likely that Malcolm is dead than Felicity. You know? But yeah. someone else might think differently. Uh, so anyway, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave, find the poll, and you can vote... For a, any number of people. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I, think a, I think it's going to be like a list of, like, whatever's yeah. on there, you can vote for who you I'll think I'll put a huge there. list on there. Um, but usually these polls uh, that we do with on our Patreon page, they're a dollar per month to interact with every single poll, which are like a bunch, you know, uh, every month. This one, you'll be able to find it specifically. It's going to be just like our Flash poll. Absolutely free to everybody. Be, to celebrate Arrow and celebrate yeah. CW and how much fun it is doing this and how much I'm going to miss it over the summer. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, These are always good shows. These are a lot of They're fun. always fun. Yeah. But we're Blind Wave. We're always going to be doing more stuff. Make sure you are subscribed because the summer isn't going to slow down for us. It's just getting started, right, Aaron? Mm-hmm. More to come. Let's do it. Don't need them anymore. Thank you for watching the, the Arrow. The era. And if you like anything on the table, go down to the description. Find place the Amazon affiliate. And we'll see you guys next year. Right? Eric, you knock everything off the table. Aaron!